The US Air Force is pushing ahead with its next-generation airlift program, that will replace both the C-17 Globemaster III and C-5 Galaxy fleets by mid-2040, which means that the C-17 production line will not be revived. The Royal Thai Air Force hosted an Indian Air Force delegation in Bangkok, and they praised Indian Air Force's precision strikes on 11 Pakistani air bases as a benchmark for future air warfare in Asia. Bengaluru-based Axis Caves has announced that it has secured an order from the Indian Army to supply 12-man portable counter-drone systems. The DRDO has released the request for information for the selection of development and production partner for liquid fuel ramjet engine for supersonic cruise missiles. The Indian Army conducted an exercise under the Western Command, to test indigenous drones and counter-drone systems in a contested electronic warfare environment. The Belgian turret in Zorawa light tank will be replaced with an indigenous turret by DRDO and LNT within two years, that will feature smart munitions, cannon-launched ATGMs, and dual-role capability against both ground and aerial threats. The Indian Air Force is pushing for a rapid expansion of air-launched cruise missile stockpiles, and internal assessments call for nearly 100 missiles to disable all Pakistani air bases within the first few hours of conflict. The Indian government has initiated plans to restructure Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, to boost efficiency and speed up deliveries to the armed forces. An external consulting group is reviewing HAL's structure, with options including the creation of independent entities for fixed-wing aircraft helicopters and maintenance repair overhaul. Concerns have been raised over delays in Tejas Mark 1A deliveries, and HAL's limited capacity to handle new strategic programs like the AMCA. The Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that the core engineering work on the AMCA is completed, and collaborative efforts with Hindustan Aeronautics are geared toward rolling out the first prototype by late 2027, with a maiden flight scheduled for 2028. The AMCA has already undergone extensive wind tunnel testing and computational fluid dynamics simulations to refine its stealth shaping, internal weapons base and sensor fusion architecture. Learning from the delays of the Tejas program, the Aeronautical Development Agency has adopted a more aggressive flight testing model for the AMCA, and the plan is to demonstrate sustained supersonic performance within weeks, which took nearly two years for the Tejas aircraft. The Indian Army is pursuing a highly mobile and high firepower indigenous wheeled tank destroyer capable of carrying 16 vertically launched anti-tank guided missiles. The vertical launch systems will provide 360 degrees coverage, greater missile capacity, and a reduced visual profile, and the ATGMs equipped with tandem heat warheads must be able to defeat explosive reactive armor and active protection systems. While indigenous ATGMs are the preferred choice, an interim collaboration with Israel for 5.5 km range Spike LR2 5th generation ATGM remains under consideration. Former Deputy Chief of the Indian Navy have urged to integrate hypersonic tactical missiles into the Project 76 submarines like the BrahMos-2, as traditional submarine-launched ballistic missiles follow predictable trajectories, that are easily tracked by satellites and over-the-horizon radars, limiting their tactical utility. Retrofitting vertical launch systems into the 2,500-ton Project 76 hulls would require only a 10% redesign, making integration feasible as the Project 76 approaches CCS approval. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.